again, my goal for today, my goal for today is I want you to understand how to use this framework because I know that when you when you're not used to editing or customizing templates and I've received some of the emails from you guys, Matthew, I just bought this template from this company. I'm trying to edit it. How do I change the logo? How do I change the background? Where do I go? So the point of this is if you're just getting started, I want to show you where to go. Again, this is not for the advanced or the professional because there's so much more to go over. Uh, we're going to take a look at that. So now we have this here and let's go over to the topography. The topography is the fonts, how they look. You can have different types of fonts. This utilizes amazing fonts from Google. You can turn Google font off or on. So the topography is just the font here. You see the font weight is just how dark or how light a font is. So you have 300, you click on this here. And it shows you the options that you have to change your fonts. So as you scroll through here, you can be able to see if you have custom fonts, you can do that. You can select any one of these fonts for your website. And this is great because for branding purposes, whenever you want to give your site a certain look, you know, I've worked on clients' website that they like certain fonts. They like how certain things look. So they wanted to go with a specific style for the site. And this is where you can choose the line height. You can choose um, the letter and space. You can choose the font size, the weight. So if you choose regular, it's going to be the regular size. If you choose medium, if you choose bold, then it's going to make that in bold um, for the font. So let's just go back to regular. And then, of course, you can click here for the heading. And this is going to affect all the heading. Okay, so your website has what's called different tags. You have tags H1 through H6. Now, again, I'm really trying to keep this basic for you, uh, for my beginners out there, so I don't get you too confused. But this right here, but considered like an H1 tag. Um, so the size for this one is 46. So you can adjust this to be whatever it is. So anytime that you create a new header, it's going to take the H1 font size. So if you change this to 54 or whatever number you change this to, this is what is going to change all the H1 tags on your website. So let's scroll and then you have the navigation. So let's scroll with the nav. So this is what the navigate the font that the navigation is using. You can choose the font size. You can choose the line height. You can scroll through here. And just play with these. You know, you're not going to break anything. You know, you won't break anything. So feel free to click around and, you know, see how things look. And then you can choose the regular, the medium, the bold, the dark, select font, and play with it, you know. So that's how you change the navigation fonts. Let's go over now to the page. Again, make sure you can click on save. You can save and close or save and copy. And then this is here if you wanted to change any type of your your background. This where you can change the background, no repeat, horizontally, vertically. You can put a space, you can have it round, um, you can inherit. And you can also add a background image to this. So whatever image that you have on your site, you know, I don't really have any images here, but you see right there, I'll just put a background image. So if there is a part of your site that you want to put a background image, maybe you're, I don't know, maybe you want to put something there. You can use this to, to do that now. It says background images repeat. You can click to horizontal. It's going to change. You notice now it's just at the very top. You can switch this to vertical. It's going to change to vertical. So this is a great way for those that have a background image that they want to add. And you can change to, you know, to space or whatever you want it. So I'm just going to delete that. And the beautiful thing about this framework, too, is that your changes happen in real time. So as you're making changes, you're seeing things happen here. And let's go up. So that's with the page. And you can have the image position, scroll. You can have a fixed 
So if you wanted to have the image to just stay fixed while you scroll up and down, this is where you're coming to have it fixed. And let's go now to the author section. Now the author section, this is where any time that there's an article, let's go here. And let's take a look at one of the pages. Uh, what page we want to take a look at? All right, let's just go to the about us. I don't know. If, I don't know if this one has it here. Um, let's take a look at the blog. Okay, so this is a great example. So what this means is that you see the blog post right here. Let me click on this. It shows by the author name and it shows the category. This is where you can come in if you want to hide it. Right, you can click to hide. You can click after display title. You can show avatar and list page. You can choose to show an avatar or not. Again, once you make your changes, you want to be able to click on save and you can always view the site from there. And now let's go over to the, the favorite con. So the favorite con is just, you see this Joomla logo, you see my mouse right here? Where you see this Joomla logo? If you wanted to change that with your own, I don't think I have any on here. I don't have any, any favorite cons here. But this is where you would go. Of course, you have to get your, your favorite con already created. And then you can click to upload it. Um, to the site which is going to replace the original like the Joomla logo um, right there so this has to deal with the basic the site setting so all the things about your site the, the basics about the site from the logo to the header the topography if you want to change content on the page you want to add a background image this is where you can come to put that if you want to work on the author settings you can take a look at that here now the author settings deals with articles, which I'm not going to cover articles, but again, just for simplicity reasons, we have that here. And if you switch, you can switch over to the different views here um, to see how that works.